Jay Gray, NBC News, Junction, Texas. And our team coverage of this afternoon's solar eclipse continues on Sullivan's Island. That is where we find News 2's Delilah James. And Delilah, you spoke to people who came out to view this event. How was the crowd earlier today? Hannah and Aaron, hundreds of people came out to watch the partial eclipse at the Fort Moultrie, and there are still people out here enjoying the last few minutes of the eclipse. South Carolina did not experience totality today, just a partial eclipse with the peak darkness happening just about an hour ago. Despite South Carolina not seeing as much cover as we did in 2017 eclipse, the people I spoke to say they did not want to miss this rare opportunity. One parent told me coming out to watch was especially important to her because she got to share the experience with her son. Next time we're going to have a chance to see a solar eclipse, even a partial solar eclipse, is in 2044. So this is really a once-in-a-lifetime event, and it's such a privilege to have the opportunity to play a little hooky from work and come and have not only a science-type experience, but also a historical experience here at Fort Moultrie.